everybody, it's Converse King back with another shoe review. And today's shoe is the Converse Zero 100. The shoe's pretty interesting. It came out in 2008, uh, which was the 100th anniversary of Converse, which was founded in 1908. Uh, and this shoe is a basketball shoe. And what's interesting about it is it is based loosely on the Chuck Taylor. Basically what I think they were trying to do is um, come up with a shoe that would be indicative of what would have taken place if um, the Chuck Taylor had been designed two years ago. So this is what they came up with. Um, details are kind of sparse, but there are a few. Just like on the Chuck Taylor, there is a star on the uh, inner ankle, which you can see here. Uh, it's not as in detail, but it is a nice touch, and it really gives you the feel that this is a Converse shoe. Um, the shoe upper is mainly leather and the toe cap is patent leather um, the heel is like reinforced plastic for uh, ankle support I believe and like the Chuck Taylor it says all-star on the heel um, on the same side that the um, Chuck Taylor star is on, you have, see that, these two perforations in like a star pattern. Well, they wanted to recreate the effect you get by having the little portholes in the side of a Chuck Taylor. So really what they did is they took a lot of basic elements of the Chuck Taylor because, you know, you can take very in detail um, elements of the Chuck Taylor because there's not a lot of detail there. But they basically put everything on this shoe that you get with this one. And they made it better. Um, like the Chuck Taylor again... You have um, a star on the bottom. It's right here, but over here, it's there. Obviously, you can see that. And like the Chuck Taylor, I really like this touch. They put the size of the shoe right in the middle there, size 11, size 9. So basically, they covered everything. Um, this is one of the most ridiculously comfortable Converse shoes I ever bought. I picked it up at the outlet for $20, and um, it's just it's just been great. I don't wear them all the time, obviously, because I have so many shoes, but when I do wear them, I never regret it because they are so comfortable. The tongue has mesh on it breathability because you know when you have a shoe like this where it's almost solid leather you need breathability there are some holes in the side perforations for breathability but not the most breathable shoe around you also put some right behind the toe cap but um, again your feet will get pretty warm in these that was a fly. Um, but yeah, this shoe is great. The main problem with this shoe and reviewing it now is it came out two years ago. Very hard to find. Um, the last place I saw them available was shoes.com, which is retail 
sneakers and uh, like accessories, bags and stuff. But uh, yeah, these are getting pretty scarce. So if you wanted to find a pair, you'd probably not have a too good of a time, you know, locating it. But really, a unfairly overlooked shoe that should have been marketed better. But I think we can blame that on Nike because they've just now started advertising Converse again. And this shoe obviously was not in the commercial because commercials are new. This is from two years ago. And it's just a shame because such a great, simple, affordable shoe got overlooked. Uh, it's, it, it, you know, you know how I feel about it. It is a shame. But uh, it's really nice. If you can find it, you're a fan of Converse, you might want to pick it up. This is Converse King. This shoe review is over. And I'll see you next time. Peace.